let me show you what you can do in order to fix issues with mobile data network on Motorola Edge 60 Pro. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to settings, let's open network and internet. And then over here, what you can do at first is just turn off and turn on mobile data. Sometimes this simple thing, this simple task can solve some of the issues. However, if this is not enough, what you can do is you can also go to mobile data in order to make sure that the correct SIM is used for mobile data. Now, this of course is applicable only if you have more than one SIM. Besides that, you might want to check if, for example, there is no data limit set up or if there is any data saver that might have an influence on the mobile data. If this is set up properly, then you can also go to SIMs and mobile network. Over here, we can also change the preferred SIM card, but uh, it just redirects us to the previous page. So we're going to go to our SIM card. And the first thing that we can do over here is make sure that your data roaming is set, for example, to national network. You might have this option disabled, but you can try to set it to national network just for now, at least in order to see if it helps. If it doesn't make any difference, then of course you can switch back to anything you had. Remember that if you set it to all network, then you might actually uh, see additional costs. You might actually, additional costs may incur pretty much. Besides that, you might want to try to uh, use the 5G network. So over here, if you go to preferred network type, you might want to make sure that 5G is actually enabled. You might want it to turn it off to not use 5G. However, just for now, of course, we can turn it back on in that case in order to see if, if this helps. Besides that, we also have 2G connections, which actually I don't think they may have that huge an impact on, on the mobile data. However, just for now, if you had this disabled, then you can turn it on. And on the other hand, if you had this enabled, then you can turn it off. But like I said, I don't think it could actually uh, make that difference. Besides that, if everything that we have done so far uh, didn't fix the issue, if it's still not working properly, another thing that you can do is check the private DNS. If you changed something in the private DNS, you want to most likely set it to automatic. I don't think you want to turn it off and you definitely don't want to set it to private DNS provider hostname because you actually need to name the hostname of the, of the DNS provider. And if you don't provide it, then this might be the reason why you don't have access to mobile data. Now, if none of this helps, there is actually one more thing that we can do. Let's go back to the settings, to the main page of settings, scroll all the way down and open system. Then we want to go to reset options. And over here, you want to choose this option, reset mobile network settings. Over here, confirm by pressing this button, enter the screen lock password, and then press reset settings again. And there we go. Once you see this information that network settings have been reset, then we can go back. And now we need to just double check if the mobile data is enabled and that the correct SIM card is selected in case you use more than one. So mobile data in my case is enabled. Let's go over here. Of course, here we can check if the correct SIM is enabled or used for mobile data. And besides that, of course, make sure that the SIM card is enabled. And that's about it. This is everything that we can do in order to try to solve issues with uh, mobile data. If none of this helps, then you might want to contact your service provider or career in order to ask them what could be the reason. Sometimes there might be an outage on the career side. So this might be the reason why you don't have mobile data. So it's worth trying to worth trying to contact the service provider. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.